Kroger Tender Ray Beef, no other beef so fresh, can be so tender, presents Hearts in Harmony, transcribed. K is for Kroger. C is for cut. B is for beef. KCB means Kroger cut beef. And Kroger cut beef means more meat for your money. It's a fact, ladies. And here's the reason Kroger cut beef gives you more meat, less waste. Before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. Yes, that's before the meat is weighed and priced. So you can see that means more meat for your money. You get top U.S. government grades of beef, meat that's tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. You get a better value in top-grade beef. For example, when you buy a Kroger-cut porterhouse steak, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes the long, stringy end and excess waste before the steak is weighed and priced. You don't pay steak price for stringy meat and excess waste. Remember, whether you buy a steak or roast, you receive more meat, less waste. But see for yourself. Visit your neighborhood Kroger store. Get Kroger cut beef and get more meat for your money. And now, hearts in harmony. Peg Martin's little daughter, Julie, arrives in Rossville today. Penny Gibbs is not yet well enough to go to the station to meet her, but Johnny Keith has arranged to take Peg to the station. It's nearly train time now, and Johnny hasn't arrived at the Gibbs' home. Peg watches at the window. Oh, Penny, what's keeping him so long? He said he'd be here an hour ago. You mean an hour ago he said he'd be here about now, Peg. Oh, oh watching for him at the window isn't going to help. Come on, sit down. You'll be all worn out by the time you see Julie. Oh, just think in a little while I will see her, Penny. Oh, you sure that train time is the same as Rossville time? Yes, Peg, it's the same time. <laughs> Look, if you just remember, we phoned twice to make sure. Yes, I know, but we still might be mixed up. Oh, oh, Penny, I'd just die if Julie got off the train and there was no one there to meet her. Poor child would be frightened to death. You'll be there to meet her now, don't worry. Johnny's only a few minutes late. He'll be here soon. He's usually a little late to everything. <laughs> you know, uh, he's running Jed's office practically by himself now. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, I shouldn't complain, I guess. It was awfully generous of him to offer to take me to the station. I could have just as easily gone down in a taxi or a bus. No, you're calling for your daughter in style, ma'am. Although, uh, Johnny's car isn't exactly the latest model. <laughs> well, as long as it goes and as long as it gets me to the station to meet Julie, I don't care what it is. Oh, Penny. Penny, look at the time. Hey, that train isn't due until 4.30, and it's only 3.30 now. Yes, I know. Now, but... how long a drive do you think it is to the station? Come on, now. It's only 25, 30 minutes at the most. Yes, I know, but something might happen on the way to delay us, and it's... Hey, listen a minute. You're so excited, you're like a little child. <laughs> I bet Julie isn't behaving as badly as you are. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm being silly, and, and the poor child's probably frightened to death. Just think, a little five-and-a-half-year-old traveling all the way from New York by herself. Mm -hmm. Oh, Penny, I shouldn't have been so anxious to see her. I should have waited till I had the money to go down and get her. You shouldn't have done anything of the kind. If you had, you'd have stayed there, and you know it. Oh, no, Penny, I would have come back. Why, in the short time I've been here, I've, I've fallen in love with Rossville. You know, it's a lovely town. I like it, and I like the people. If I can get a permanent job, do you know what? What? I think I might stay here and, and let Julie grow up here. Mm, it's a good town for children. They can be outdoors so much of the time. Mm -hmm. There's so many parks and playgrounds. And uh, as a matter of fact, it's only a few minutes' drive to the country. Yes, I know. Oh, I like it. I like everything about it. I know Julie will. Oh, Penny, I hope you like it. Mm, I'm sure we will, Peg. I don't see how we can help it. Well, she, she isn't perfect. <laughs> well, I wouldn't expect her to be, but... Oh, golly, I certainly hope she likes me. She will. I can't think of anyone here she won't fall in love with. Penny. Mm hmm Tell me, you're not sorry you let me have her sent here, are you? Peg Martin, why should I be sorry? Oh, you've done so much for me. I, I've tried to help out a little, but I know I've been an imposition. You have been a help. A real help. You mean that? Well, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. And you know what? I think you ought to have Julie with you. It'd be so much better for both of you. Peg. Mm. She must have been terribly unhappy with her grandmother. 
Well, she didn't know anything different. Well, it's all the more reason why she should be brought here. Stay here as long as you want her to stay. Um, your mother was very unpleasant about giving her up, wasn't she? You ought to know. Didn't she say some, well, pretty horrible things to you? <laughs> or she said I was a meddling busybody, and she's yeah. right about that. I really had no business talking you into sending for Julie. Oh, you didn't talk me into it, Penny. You merely offered to let her stay here. And the only reason I didn't take her away from her grandmother long before this is that, well, I just didn't have any place to keep her. Well, let's not worry too much about Julie's grandmother. Julie belongs to you and with you. Well, even your own mother has to admit that. Well, maybe she did to you, but she certainly didn't to me. Do you know what she said? Mm -mm. She said that I wasn't fit to be a mother. Oh, Peg, no. Mm -hmm. You know that Mother and I haven't been able to get along for years. She, she blames me because Jim left me. You know, I don't even think she blames him for trying to kill oh, me. Oh, stop. Oh, you don't I, mean... I, I, I don't mean that Mother wants me dead. Of course not. But she feels that I made Jim miserable as he made me. And, well, sometimes in many ways I think she's right. Oh, oh, maybe that's John. Yeah, it sounds like his horn. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, and he's coming in, too. He didn't have to do that. I'm all ready to go. <laughs> oh, we'll surely be late to the no, station. No, you still have 50 minutes. Oh, Oh, gee, I hope he doesn't want to stop and talk. Well, if it'll make you feel better, I won't let him, Peg. <laughs> promise? I promise. Hi. Uh, bus leading to the railroad station, lady? Oh, yes, Johnny, let's go. Oh, we have plenty of time, Peg. Um, I hear Penny's downstairs again today. Johnny, are you sure we have lots of time? Plenty. Hello, Penny. Hello, Johnny. Look, I promised Peg I wouldn't let you stop and talk. She's anxious to get to the station. <laughs> well, I don't see why, Peg. We have lots of time. Well, we, we don't want to sit in that smoky place for half an hour, do we? Oh, no, Well, that's Johnny, what we'll do but... if we leave for the station now. Well, I, I can leave here when I hear the train whistle coming through the cut and still get to the station before the train does. On how many wheels? Now, that depends on uh, how many wheels I have to start <laughs> out with. <laughs> I suppose I am being silly. Oh, but Julie's such a little girl. I can't let her wander around that station all by herself. You know, I see your point, Peg. I, I guess it would be a good idea if we got to the station ahead of time. You ready? I certainly am. Mm. She's been ready for over an hour. For over an hour? Mm. You don't have Just. to make fun of me. I'll admit I am excited, and why shouldn't I be? Do you know that I haven't seen Julie in weeks, and this is the first time in years I'll really have her to myself? Hey, oh, okay. nobody's mm. making fun of you. Truly, I think we're all just about as excited as you are. Yes, ma'am. Why, why, why do you think I offered to take you to the station, Peg? I... I want to share in that reunion. I think it's great. Oh, gosh, I, I, I think I'm going to cry. Hey, hey, none of that. Well, my buggy leaves for the station and two shoves of the starter. All aboard, huh? Well, let's go. Oh, no. The door again. <laughs> I'll get it. Thank you. Penny, you're looking great. I feel good, Johnny. Think I'll be out of the house in about a week. Oh, I'm fun. coming, I'm coming. Oh, Peg. Oh, Barry, come in. I'm I'm just leaving. Oh, uh, well, that's a fine invitation. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Keith is driving me to the station. You know what? What? Julie's coming in today. And you didn't ask me to drive you to the station? I don't know if I like that. I, I think my feelings are hurt. Oh, Barry, you're sweet, but I, I really didn't want to impose. Penny! Penny, Barry Carlton's here. Hello, Barry, come on in. Hi. You aren't inviting me in because you're leaving, too, are you, Penny? No, I'm not going anywhere, but Peg and Johnny are. We mm. certainly are, and right now. I'm ready, Johnny. Oh, good. Good, Peg, so am I. Oh, how are you today, Barry? Hi. Still on the job? Yeah, on and off, Johnny. They have me making sales again this afternoon, and... Uh, you know what I think of selling. Yes, yes, I remember. Johnny, <laughs> hmm? Johnny, it's getting late. All right, all right, Peg, let's go. Uh, see you in just a little while, Penny, huh? Mm, but I can't wait to see Julie. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Peg. Goodbye. Bye, Barry. Bye. <clears throat> well, my lovely young woman, looks like I have you all to myself. Is that so unusual? Yes, yes, it has been lately. Being alone with you has become as rare a thing as... A diamond, and just as precious, too. Did, um, you and Peg have a nice time together the other night? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Say, how did that get in? I'm sorry. Um, it really isn't important. Then why did you ask? Because I wondered. Oh. But it's not important for me to know. I was, 
um, making conversation, I guess. <laughs> now, Penny, don't treat me this way. I'm not treating you any way in particular. Yes, yes, you are. You're being as cold as they come. Cold, and it's calculated coldness, too. Why should I be cold to you? I don't know. I'm asking you. Well, I certainly don't know what difference it makes if... if well, because I'm not interested in, in whether or not you and Peg had a good time the other night, because I'm sure you did, and that's fine and dandy. Well, if you'd like to know, we had a wonderful time. So wonderful, I've already made another date with it. Now, you don't mind, do you? Why should I mind? Well, I, uh, I don't think you should. After all, you suggested that I take Peg out the other night, didn't yes, you? Yes, I certainly did. Oh, Penny, look, what's the matter? I thought you'd be glad to hear I was showing Peg some attention. She's had a rather bad time lately. She needs a good time, a few parties, and a few laughs. Is that the only reason you're taking her out? Well, no, no, I rather like her. She's good company, but not half as good company as you. Thanks, Barry, but that wasn't necessary. But it's the truth. You know, I think a lot more of you than I do of Peg. No, I don't know that. And if I did, it really wouldn't matter very much. Barry, you and Peg, go out and have all the good times you like. I have a lot better things to do than have a good time. Well, we just made it to the station in time, Peg. The train's just pulling in. Oh, Johnny, let's hurry. She'll probably be the first one off the train. <laughs> Most kids usually are. Well, I guess it's all right to park here a few minutes. Huh? Mm. Johnny, mm. do I look all right? You look all right. Well, you're undoubtedly the most beautiful mother in the world. Now, wait, I'll get out of your side. <laughs> all right. All right. We go in that door there, and we'll be very near to the station platform. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, I just can't wait. Well, we're right on the dot, Peg. Train just stopped this very minute. Yes. Oh, look. Hmm? Look, there are some people getting off that first car. Yes. Yeah, but no, no little girl. Well, well, maybe she's waiting for the porter to help her off. She isn't very big, Johnny, and those train steps are awfully high. Yeah. Then the people have stopped getting off, and I still don't see any little girl. Oh. Are you sure she hasn't grown since you last saw her? Oh, Johnny... Johnny, I'm worried. Oh, you have nothing to worry about, Peg. We'll see her in a minute. But, Johnny, nobody's getting off the train. Yeah, but that porter on the car down there is getting back on, probably to help Julie down. Now, let's... Johnny, did you hear what that man said? Yes, all aboard. The train's moving. Johnny, Julie isn't here. What's happened to her? Why isn't she here? Why didn't little Julie Martin get off the train? Was she ever on it? Or is she lost? Be sure to listen to the next dramatic episode of Hearts in Harmony. KCB. KCB. KCB means Kroger Cut Beef, and Kroger Cut Beef means more meat for your money. Yes, Kroger Cut Beef gives you more meat, less waste, because before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, excess waste, and stringy ends. In buying Kroger Cut Rib Roast, for example... You don't pay rib roast price for excess bone and waste. The chine bone is trimmed, the waist and short rib end removed, giving you top U.S. government grades of beef that's tender, juicy, rich red, and marbled with just the right amount of flavory fat. And before the meat is weighed and priced, the Kroger method of cutting beef removes excess bone, waste, and stringy ends. Remember, whether you buy a steak or roast, Kroger cut beef gives you more meat for your money. But mind you... You can get Kroger cut beef only at your neighborhood Kroger store. So go there as soon as you can. Step up to the meat counter and ask the Kroger meat man for Kroger cut beef. You'll get delicious and juicy and tender beef, and you'll get more meat, less waste. That means you get more meat for your money at your Kroger store. Listen in again Monday, same time, same station, for another thrilling transcribed chapter of Hearts in Harmony. <laughs> 